Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another video on Trackmania Sunrise Extreme. This is a replay analysis of me finally getting under 1 minute and 20 seconds on X-Race 09 in Trackmania Sunrise Extreme. I've been shooting for under 120 for a very long time. Fastest time before this was a 120.05, I believe, was my fastest time ever. Uh, on this computer specifically, it was like a 120.23, I think. It was that one that you see right there. But we're going to watch this replay, and I'm going to basically go over how I think I could improve my race on this uh, time and probably get down to a 119.5, maybe a 119 flat, and in the future, eventually, maybe even a 118. I do not know what the world record on this racetrack is because I believe Track Mania Sunrise Track Exchange is still down and I don't know if it's ever coming back. So that means I might not actually have any idea because you can't even pull up the track with archive.org. So without further ado, let's give it a view and we'll go over what I did here. So as you can see, started out like normal, got you want to get to the booster as fast as possible. You also want to level out your car with a quick brake tap. And you'll see that a very strange thing I did is I actually missed that booster at the beginning. So I would like to go back and redo this, obviously, because missing that booster probably took away about 0.1 seconds. But then again, in this section here, I actually had to straighten out just to get to that checkpoint correctly. Maybe I didn't really have to do that. I could obviously also take those corners a little bit sharper. But right here, there's actually a shortcut you can take. And I don't take it because I've never seen it actually be useful in a run. So this is what I think really gave me the win here, is making that turn in the air so I was already angled for the next turn. But other than that, I got up here. I could have jumped off of this way sooner, but I decided to play it safe because I was so far ahead. I was about 0.14 ahead, and I stayed at that distance all the way through to the end. And then this was near perfect. I did have to turn left a little bit so I wouldn't fall off, but I ended up perfectly straight, straight into the finish line. So we're going to go over this one more time. And obviously, you know... This intro, you can't really take it much sharper than that. Again, you'll see I missed this checkpoint, or I missed this booster entirely. But it really didn't seem to cost me anything, missing that booster. I don't think I could take that any lower and be accurate. So that's pretty much as good as that's going to get. I don't think it's possible to take those turns any sharper, but maybe a little bit. I've actually been faster before staying on the outside line in this car. I don't think there's anything like a uh, drift boost or whatever they call it in Trackmania uh, 2020. You can actually accelerate more drifting a certain way in Trackmania 2020 um, while drifting, basically. You actually accelerate if you keep your tire tracks a certain width, basically people have figured out or if your drift angle is very specific but other than that that's my 11980 run i was shooting for this record actually in my previous track mania video and i didn't quite get it but i did finally get it while sitting here playing the game tonight so let's give it one attempt oops Let's give it one attempt here, live, while talking, and I'll see what I get. No promises this is going to be a record, because I doubt it. But, how astounding would that be? So, we stay up here. I shouldn't be turned already. I am way too wide. But, it actually helped. Look, I'm so much faster. Ooh. <laughs> that was a big oops. Well, let's try again. There we go. I just want to finish one run while here. 
so take those a lot sharper. It looks like that really helps. There we go. That was so smooth. Figured out if you start your turns in the boosters, you actually don't lose any speed. I'm so far ahead. I'm always further ahead while recording rather than uh, while just playing and like paying attention. Like, I haven't been this far ahead since my previous recording of this game uh, before my record run. Oh boy, I'm a little too early on this. Okay. That was close though. I was 0.25 ahead. Like I was saying, 119.5 might be possible for me. So, we're going to hope. I did hit the turbo. Barely. My speed did suffer a little bit. That was the sharpest I've ever taken that. But because I got off the ramp so early, I missed a lot of that just downhill acceleration. Oh yeah, I caught up a lot just because I had to turn left to straighten out. Look how much speed I lost. So let's, you know, 0.05 ahead. Not amazing, but it's something. Wow, I had a really weird landing there. Oh boy. Hmm. wonder if a water bounce into that checkpoint and turning would be possible. I doubt it. Because you're not going to be able to turn sharp enough and soon enough for that to actually matter. Yeah, look how far ahead I was, but how much speed I lost simply because I missed the booster. Yeah, that's better. Alright, next checkpoint here. A lot sharper on my previous run. But I lost a lot of speed, so... Oh boy. Damn, man. Alright, come on. We can do this. Cool. Let's go. I just gotta hit the booster. Honestly, it doesn't seem to matter that much if you hit that booster. Oh boy. I knew I was too low. I know I said one attempt, and here I am probably ten in on this recording. Just, just accept it. It's what I do. Oh boy. Wow, that was close. As long as you get to that booster, it doesn't seem to matter. Because you can turn during the booster, and it doesn't really harm you at all. Wow, we got that really well. Okay, we're doing well, doing well. Got that turn really nice. Hit these boosters, go around this loop. That loop sucks, to be honest with you. I think I'm a little too early on this. But like I said, as long as you can get to the boosters, it doesn't matter. If I can jump off of this much earlier, I am so much earlier right there. I don't think I'm catching up the point eight though that I need in this run. Nope. I tried. I tried really hard. But no avail. Let's go. I didn't actually hit the brake like you're normally supposed to to level out and land flat. And you saw how much that impacted my speed there. It actually made the front of my car bounce off the ground, which made me lose quite a bit of speed. So you want to hit it like as soon as you're off the ramp. But we're good now. And let's get this checkpoint early. Cool. It's kind of worth it because the booster is right there. Hands down, this is one of my favorite tracks in Trackmania history, just period. This and Orbital. Orbital is a fantastic track. That's the one I want to shoot for a record on next. Okay, I forgot to spin, but we're okay. Because I landed early enough 
that I'm at least tied with myself. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. Kind of landed in the same spot. I was ahead, but I lost it all. Man, there is a lot of catch-up you could do just by hitting that booster as early as possible. That was another 119, I think. Which it seems like it's easy to get now because I've done it once. But... I should have let that run finish. And at least save the replay. Oh well. I'm on a goal. I want to hit that 119.5. That was nice turning. That was a nicely done turn around that. Now we just get down here. Let's get around this loop. Oh, so much speed lost. Wow, that was terrible. I'm a second and a half behind. How sad. I've lost so much time. There would be no making this up, but I want to practice this ending. Yeah, you can jump off of that so soon. Also, practicing this ending is never a bad idea. Look how sharp I got that. But this final jump, man, it'll just always get you. Yeah, I made that one. That was pretty good. I'll say two more attempts in this recording. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, that didn't count. My fingers are already starting to yell at me for doing so many attempts. Because I tense up too much while doing this. Yeah, 0 .06 is what I lost there. I could have lost potentially as much as 0 .2 just because I missed that booster. 0 .04, that's fine. 0.17, that's really nice to see. Come on, come on, let's go. 0.14 still ahead. That's nice. Oh, I got the spin. Oh, we're good. I slowed down a little bit more than I wanted to, but it's a good looking ending nonetheless. Good looking practice ending. Uh, until I did that. Well, see what happens. Ooh, I spun it a little. And it seemed to have helped, although I don't think it did. So it was 0 0.06 last run. Shouldn't have drifted on that loop, or that wall. But that's okay. I don't like how much speed I drop there. Just simply because of the turn. Come on. Down the hill we go. I should not be this far behind right now. Made it up. Nice, nice, nice. Landed early, which is good. Not quite early enough, but I could catch it on the end. Simply just by jumping off earlier. Oh, let's go. Oh, I knew it would catch me. But this is probably another 119 if I hadn't missed. Last run last attempt in this video recording because I haven't blinked in the last 10 minutes. I swear to God. I really need to blink, I think. You know, that's a normal human thing. Point one. There we go. That was great. Point oh five. That's okay. Okay. 
Let's go. I really, I need to search YouTube for records. I didn't even think of that until now. I just missed a booster. I missed the booster. 0 0.01 ahead or behind, but I don't see it in front of me, so... Ooh, 0.11! And I screwed it up. Well, I'm gonna call it there because my hand is cramping up and I'm old. I'm gonna search YouTube for records on this and see what we can find. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed another video of me trying to set the record on X-Race 09 and Trackmania Sunrise. I did get a record for myself of 119.8. We'll see if we can do better in the future. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.